you guys, welcome to day 20. Today we are going into chapter three. So chapter three is all about your values. It's called, what do you value most? And the reason that we go through this, so we now know where you are at in your life, dot, 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 really, and who you are, dot, 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 really, without any fluff, BS, sugarcoating, or any notion of what you think you need to be or what you've told, been told that you think you need to be. So the point of this is now to go into what we value most so that we can then understand what our goals should be based off of where we are at, who we truly are, and what we value, what we care about. Because more often than not, we'll set goals for ourselves that once achieved, we're a little bit disappointed and it's because it was never us that really wanted it. So what we're going to go through is some different assessments. So we're going to nerd out together again, which I'm really excited about. And hopefully you had some epiphanies throughout chapter one and chapter two. So if you did, let me know in the live chat, let me know in the comments down below. If you had a big epiphany that you were like, well, I never knew that, or you just feel more clear on something, please let me know what it is because I would love to have that feedback. And what we're going to do, just like we do for every chapter, is dive in with a little quote. So this is all about your values, right? So what I wrote out is that self-confidence is like a super superpower. Once you begin to believe in yourself, magic starts to happen. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how to align your values and your actions. And whenever you have any moments of frustration or friction in your life, it is usually because your values and your actions are not aligning. So if you very much care about a certain character trait or a certain anything in life, we're not going to get too personal, but we are going to dive into what matters to you. And when those actions are not matching the values, that's when friction, frustration, feeling like you're unaligned, just it's not working. And that's why it's like those two things are not meshed together because we're lacking clarity. So if we can get your values and your actions aligned, not only well will we see growth, we will see progress, happiness, and fulfillment. So that is my goal for you. And I know that that's been true in my own life. So what I figured we would do is go through four different methods. Um, some of these I created, some of them I did not. I think one of them I did not, and the rest of them I did. So yeah, one of them I completely learned. I actually read the book of this the author's last name is Chapman, full credit to that human being. But if you've ever heard of this, you know what I'm talking about, love languages. So we're going to go through a love language assessment, but where I spun it around is we're also going to talk about self-love because this doesn't have anything to do with like marriage and relationships necessarily. It's just how you receive love and what fulfills you the most and what you value the most. So we're going to talk about love languages. That's one of them. We're going to talk about your North star. So we're going to determine your top two needs that mean the most to you, how you meet those needs, like those human needs that you need to meet. That is your North star. That is your guiding light. We're going to determine which one that is for you. Then we're going to go through your wheel that yes, we already went through, but we're going to revisit it and why it matters. And that's, what's really cool about this workbook is you're going to do stuff in chapter one or chapter three, and then revisit it in chapter seven or right now. So it's kind of neat that you're not doing it just to like, do it and leave it. It all comes together to create who you truly are and a game plan for yourself for the future and to figure out the goals that actually matter to you so that you can feel fulfilled whenever you achieve them and actually happy. So the other one that we're going to do is the fill your cup. So I talked about this. I've talked about this on my vlog. I think I've talked about this in a daily grind series before, but I wanted to actually create an assessment of this in terms of where your time is going and what you value the most so that when you set up in a later chapter, when you set up your schedule and your routine for the day, we are actually going to build a routine together throughout this workbook. So when you set up your routine, you are then filling your time with things that matter to you. And you're not doing stuff just because you think that you need to do them. So we're going to figure out what fill your cup time is to you. And we're going to move forward on that. So what we're going to do tomorrow is go through your North star quiz, this is something I created from scratch myself for the blueprint, and I'm super excited about it. So we're going to go through that tomorrow. But for right now, I want you to think about your values, things that matter most to you. Get that ready for tomorrow. Maybe review your notes so far and be ready, bright eyed and bushy tailed for tomorrow for our live video. I'm super excited. I will see you guys then. Bye, dudes. Bye.